Hey guys, Ryan with the Driven Channel. I promised you guys new content, and that's what we're doing today. I haven't done anything on the channel yet with my badass 98 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, I love this thing, and I haven't gone off-roading in it in years. So that's what we're doing today. I'm meeting up with a bunch of friends of mine with uh, varying vehicles, everything from possibly a Subaru Forester to a whole bunch of Toyotas. Uh, I'm a Toyota guy, so uh, I'm just gonna have to prove the uh, one Jeep guy uh, that his, his is just far, far inferior to our vehicles. So I'm gassing up right now. We are gonna head on out to uh, hopefully Potawatomi uh, as long as this weather holds. It actually started dumping snow this morning, so that should add a little extra drama to the whole thing. Uh, anyway, I will, uh, we will uh, get some gas right now and we're gonna head on out and, uh, and hopefully a bunch of people show up and we have a good time. You guys, this is my least favorite thing about driving this 4Runner is it just took 10 gallons of gas. I reset my odometer every single time. And as you can see, I've only driven 104 miles. So yeah, I mean, it's better than 10 miles per gallon, but not much. All right, it's super cold, super, super cold. I think single digits, it is snowing its butt off for like only the second time this year it snowed and it decided to snow the day that we're going off-roading. So I think it should be more fun, but uh, not everybody showed up yet. A couple of guys took off to uh, go get some gas uh, themselves because our Toyota rigs really like to drink the fuel. So uh, looks like a couple of guys in XJs have showed up. That's fun. My buddy uh, Jay showed up in his Forester as well. So. Uh, we should have a good time out there today, and uh, hopefully we get some good footage and uh, have a good time. All right, so hang with me, guys. This is going to be kind of a long video, and I know that uh, you guys don't really enjoy that, but I just have to be honest with you. This off-roading was way too much fun, and I could not get it condensed down into a video that was less than 10 minutes long. I apologize for that. But sorry, not sorry. This was a lot of fun. There was a lot of guys there. And uh, these were the rigs that showed up. So a couple of XJs, a couple of my buddies with Land Cruisers, uh, my buddy Jay with his Forester. There was an old mud truck there too. So let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, I feel like I need to explain myself a little bit as to what happens in the next part of this. Uh, we had been back in this wood following this one trail that was kind of tight. Not too technical, not too bad. Obviously the Forester is humming along behind me pretty well here, but the trail crosses into uh, a creek crossing right about here. And uh, I think I should change my last name to Send It because I just decided to go ahead and try and cross it even though it was solid ice. And uh, here's what happens next. Okay, so it was a bad idea crossing the creek that was covered in, in snow and ice. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I made the mistake, and uh, there's uh, only one way to get out of it now. And uh, basically, uh, there's one car that can pull me out, and it's not one of the big 6,000-pound uh, Toyota 4Runners. It's, uh, it's a little Forester, so uh, we're about to show you what happens next. Take a second to survey the situation. We came through here. And it looked like it was pretty solid, and then we came through the ice. And now we're buried on the right side. So we're going to see which one of these lovely vehicles can pull me out. Subaru? Subaru? Yeah. You in? Yeah. Let's do this.
since you didn't believe it from the first angle, here it is from right behind the car. This Subaru yanked me right out and it was awesome. Go Subaru! How many times that's happened in wheeling history? <laughs> so reactions are very genuine here. He is about to hang a wheel up in the air in a Subaru. <laughs> I don't think that this has ever happened before, but Jesus look at that. <laughs> Holy shit! Did he make it down there? Yeah, I guess I'm making it. No. Okay. I need everyone in the back seat to lean to the back right. This way. Dad, you're leaning the wrong way. I kind of like really want to hang this to this tree here. I don't even. I don't even need to do that. I don't weigh anything. GoPro. <laughs> nope. The GoPro's not on. <laughs> Just hit yourself in the face with that tree. Yeah, All the tree other, branch just got me. I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> Remains. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How did the Subaru make it down that? Dude, I've never seen a Subaru lift a tire before. H O W. I'm just gonna send it. <laughs> and you hear it take off. It's like <laughs> everything else is like. Little Subaru's like. <laughs> like a kitty. I'm just gonna purr right on the field. tandem recovery in all my years of off-roading so this was pretty cool uh, after this we pretty much just headed home so uh, uh, this was pretty much the last of the footage of the park I don't know if you can see this guys but there's a Civic running down the highway with this hood open with bungee cords holding it down going 70 miles an hour against the wind with his hood trying to fly open this is the most stupid thing i've ever seen whoever you are get off the road